Well, 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 it's the Speed King. I'm back on the scene. I got my wrecking machine. It's Thursday, feeling real good. And of course, hope you had a great weekend. Or a great weekend. A great week as we move towards uh, the Pegasus World Cup. Great weekend coming up. What a beautiful card out of Golfstream. I don't play Golfstream very often. But this is a tremendous card. Very competitive for sure. And as always, before we dive in, hey, listen. Turn your closed captions on. Tip sheets. Thanks, everyone, for getting your orders in. Please support us. Buy our tip sheets. Uh, email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Again, they're 20 bucks for the full card at uh, Beautiful Golf Stream, and it's 13 races, and we've been working on them the last couple days. We'll get them out Friday morning for sure. But again, please email us, speedking24 at yahoo.com we have five payment methods a great great way to support us and also join our membership will you for sure as we move into the conference championship for the nfl well 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 y'all know i love didia in the in the uh 10th race over there at beautiful golf stream we're going to take a look at the hooper stakes uh, Hooper Stakes, uh, race number 11, grade 3, uh, for four-year-olds and up for 150000 at one flat mile. It's a full field of 12. I'm going to give you our top uh, four picks or three picks like that. And we're going to go right inside to the number one, Hajazi, right? Well, I'm no big Bob Baffert fan. I don't got anything against Bob. He trained Orthenic, who I continue to make money on as Orthenic throws out babies. You can see Orthenic over there. I got quite a few shares. So that worked out when Bob was doing his thing over there, him and Johnny, for sure. But here in the Hooper Stakes, race number 11, grade 3 on Saturday, the number one horse has a bunch of speed going a flat mile, which means he he won't be wide. This four-year-old is 8-5 to five on the morning line. Hate that price, but the fact of the matter is Bob Baffert should have these dead to right, y'all. Haraji is a very nice horse. Two wins from eight starts, four seconds. Now, I don't like the four seconds, but it's a small sampling of eight, so I'm going to give them that. They paid $3.6 million for this horse back there in 2022 for sure. And again, this one is making the four-year-old debut, uh, debut by Bernardini, Medaglia Dora on the back end, grandsire. We have my boy, Flavian Pratt. In the arms, right? Well, by way of California, again, there's just no reason why Haraji don't win this race and beat this fifth. The number one horse is our top pick in here. Our second pick, well, you better watch out. It ain't on the turf, but it's Chad Brown, mama, accredited, right? The number one, accredited, right? Hey, listen, the number eight is five to one on the, number, on the morning line. Three wins from eight stars, two seconds, and one third for a cool 300,000. It's Chad Brown and Irad once again. Now, Chad Brown and Irad in the 10th uh, race has fluffy socks, okay, who has every right to win, okay? And then here in the 11th race, the number eight horse has every right to win. By practical joke, street sense on the back end. This horse comes out of the Sigour Mile, got absolutely stomped, was five or six wide, host of gold, won that race. Senor Bascador was in that race. But if you look back, this horse is pretty salty. Always come out of the Vander uh, Valsberg stakes running second behind Cody's Wish, ever so uh, mysterious in the 49er. Um, this one got is pretty salty and is lightly raced with only eight starts. This five-year-old has every right to run big here, and the value at five to one. Uh, it's pretty good. The speed figures are good. The pace numbers are good. And if anybody's going to upset our top pick, Haraji, it's going to be the number eight horse in my opinion. Okay. So our second pick is Haraji. 
Our third pick, well, we're going to go right inside again. Second race off the layoff, right? It's Gilmore, the number six at 15 to one. Hello, two wins from 11 starts, three seconds and three thirds for 300,000. They paid a quarter million for this baby back there in the Keenan 2021 sale. It's Brendan Walshaw and you got uh, Jose Ortiz in the arm. Now, I might be a little homer here because this one is by Twirl and Candy. And I love horses by Twirl and Candy on the back end by uh, Henny Hughes, right? This one deserves a strong look. This one was away for 90 days uh, from September to December. Ran in the Mr. Prospect around 2nd for sure on December 23rd. Now making uh, his four-year-old debut some 35 days uh, 35 days later. Gilmore is 15 to one in this spot. And I think at worst case, you gotta use this one underneath. So the number six horse to us deserves a, at least a third pop spot uh, finish in here. And we're gonna round it out all the way outside with Signature. I hate the post because it's a flat mile. Signature doesn't have a bunch of speed, so she, he shouldn't be caught wide. I'm going to take the number 12 as our fourth spot at a cool 10 to 1, I believe the odds, or 15 to 1 on the morning line. So our third and fourth pick are both 15 to 1s. The number 12 horse, our fourth pick, has three wins from eight starts, one second. It's the classy Shug McGahee doing the conditioning. And you have the professional in the arms, Castellano, see, go Zappa, right? This one comes out of overnight states on December 31st at uh, Aqueduct, ran fourth, but two back. In an allowance race, right? Remember, this is a grade three, so it is a step up. That's why I'm going to put the number 12 in the fourth spot. So race number 11. To me, the number one, Bob, Bobby B. Bobby Baffert, okay, <laughs> should handle this group. I'm no big Bob Baffert fan, so when you see me put his horse on top, I look top and bottom because, you know, I could put him second, third, or fourth. The one horse should win this race. Haraji should win this race. Coming out of that uh, Malibu grade one stake race on the 26th of December, running second behind Speed Boat Beach, who is fast in his own right. They paid $3.6 million for this. This one's making his four-year-old debut. The number one should win this race. Hate the price at 8-5, to five, but if you're putting together some horizontals, hey, you can't leave this one off. Think you need to take a long look at the number eight, our second pick for sure. So for us, race number eleven, we think it's all about Haraji. One eight, don't leave that eight horse, Chad Brown on the dirt, the dirt master. One eight six twelve, go ahead and box it up. But if you ask me, if I have one two dollars, maybe I'll put it on the eight because he's five to one. But the one horse should win this race. One eight six twelve. Go ahead and box it up. I'll probably just use the one and eight. Maybe I'll use the six. Just three horses. In maybe I'll just use the one and eight in my pick five. Okay, the one horse should win race number eleven. That beautiful golf stream. Bob Baffert should have these dead to right with my boy Flavian Pratt. Stay classy, y'all, and all that you do. And if they go low, you keep it one hundred, as you're classy as always. Shout out to my girl, Mrs. Acosta, out there in California. Hey, Elaine. Boy, boy, boy. Get your tip sheets in, y'all. Talk to you real soon.